Today we are asking an interesting question. Did Gideon bow his head and close his eyes to pray? The Bible often mentions prayer, and it's something many of us do regularly, but does it provide a specific way that people like Gideon prayed? Did he follow certain rituals or postures in his communication with God? What can we learn from his story, and how can it shape our prayer life? Gideon's Interaction with God Gideon's story unfolds in Judges 6-8. At this time, Israel was oppressed by the Midianites due to their disobedience to God. Gideon, who considered himself the least in his family, was chosen by God to deliver Israel from this oppression. Throughout his journey, Gideon had multiple interactions with God. We see him questioning God in Judges 6 verse 13, seeking confirmation of God's will, through the sign of the fleece, in Judges 6 verses 36 to 40. And later, following God's instructions, in preparing for battle. However, when we read through these chapters, nowhere does the Bible explicitly mention Gideon bowing his head or closing his eyes to pray. In fact, the Bible doesn't specifically describe Gideon using any particular prayer posture. Instead, what we see is a raw and direct dialogue between Gideon and God. Gideon speaks to God honestly, expressing his doubts and seeking confirmation. God responds with guidance, patience, and encouragement. The Bible emphasizes Gideon's heart of dependence and faith, rather than his physical posture in prayer. What the Bible teaches about prayer posture When we look across the Bible, we notice that prayer takes many forms. Some prayed standing up, as Solomon did in 1 Kings 8 verse 22 when he stood before the altar. Others, like Daniel, in Daniel 6 verse 10, prayed on their knees. Then there is Jesus, who prayed with his eyes lifted toward heaven. The Bible shows us that the posture of prayer isn't as important as the heart behind it. Whether someone bows their head, kneels, or stands, God looks at the sincerity of the person praying, not merely at their physical form. What can we learn from Gideon's approach to prayer? Gideon's story teaches us that our prayer should be honest and dependent on God. He came to God with his insecurities, doubts, and uncertainties, and God listened. When Gideon asked for confirmation, God didn't rebuke him but instead graciously responded to his need for reassurance. This shows us that we can come to God with all our concerns, no matter how small or uncertain we feel. Prayer isn't about following a rigid formula, it's about having an open conversation with God. Whether you bow your head and close your eyes or not, what matters is the connection and trust you establish with God through prayer. So how can we apply Gideon's prayer life to our own? Pray with honesty. Just as Gideon poured out his heart to God, we can come to God honestly with all our fears and uncertainties. God is patient and understanding. Philippians 4 verse 6 reminds us, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Don't focus on posture, focus on your heart. Whether we bow our heads, kneel, or lift our hands, the key is our heart. God desires a genuine connection with us, and it's not about how we position our bodies but how we position our hearts before Him. Matthew 6 verse 6 tells us to go into our room and pray in secret, emphasizing the attitude of prayer over the outward display. Seek Confirmation from God Gideon sought confirmation, and God was gracious to provide it. In our prayer life, it's okay to seek guidance from God. Sometimes we need reassurance or a clearer understanding of His will. James 1 verse 5 encourages us to ask for wisdom, and God promises to give it generously. Trust God's answer. Once Gideon had his confirmation, he acted. After prayer, we must also be ready to move forward in faith, 
trusting God's answer, even when the outcome seems uncertain or challenging. While the Bible doesn't tell us whether Gideon bowed his head and closed his eyes to pray, it does teach us that God values the heart behind the prayer more than the posture. Gideon's story reminds us to be honest in our prayers, to seek God's guidance, and to trust in his answers. So the next time you pray, don't worry so much about how you're praying, but focus on the relationship you're building with God. Let your prayer be genuine, faithful, and trusting, just like Gideon's. Amen. Thanks for watching, and if you're ready to keep going deeper into God's Word, watch the next video to continue growing in faith and understanding.